going to show how to watch our recorded media center files on our iPad. Um, we're going to use the Air Video app and get it on the App Store. There are two versions. There's a free version and a $2.99 version. The free version is just shows you a few of your files, so it's good to test out uh, that first to see if it works. But I'm going to go ahead and buy the app. And you need to use the Air Video server. So that is what is going to run on your PC. So just Google Air Video, you'll find their website, and you're going to go to Downloads, and Download, in this case, the Windows version. And go ahead and install it. And once it's installed, we're going to then need to configure the server on our PC. It's really easy. Um, once you install it, basically, you just need to make sure it's running, and then there's a shared folders where we want to make sure the recorded TV is pointed to the folder that has all of our uh, media center files that we recorded all of our shows. And there's some other tabs, but nothing really interesting. Now the other thing while you're on your PC, what you're going to do is this next step is just get the IP address. And that's going to be used on our iPad. So I figure I might as well just show how to get that. Simply down at the start button, just type CMD. And then when that window opens, just type IP config, and you can find your IP address from there. A whole bunch of stuff will probably come up. Just look for the 192.168 number. Uh, not the gateway, but the other one. So now finally we're going to look at our iPad app. We're going to open up the Air Video. And you're going to hit the plus to add the server. I'm going to specifically add the IP address. That just seems to work best for me. I couldn't, I didn't bother with the pin or anything. So you type in that address that we uh, found on our PC. Hit save. Done. And then you will see a recorded TV and it'll show all of our files. So I got 69. Uh, recordings and scroll up and it just has the file names there's not a lot of info um, but you can see you touch it window pops on the right and now what's interesting is that if you play with live conversion or convert because the Windows media file is a proprietary format that's why you can't just copy it and uh, play it on anything so if I hit the live convert live, it'll convert it on the fly, and it, it, it works fine. I mean, there's no delay or anything. And you can see I'm just playing with some of the settings, turning on the volume, pausing it, full screen. So it's uh, really nice to be able to watch your shows uh, elsewhere in the house on your iPad. Now, if you want to do the convert, basically what that'll do is it'll convert the whole file into a format that the iPad can watch or, or view, but you have to wait. So I say, okay, current folder. So in that recorded TV folder, that's where it's going to stick another, basically a copy. You can see I'm recording, um, a converting a Seinfeld episode, and it takes forever. So it'll show you, you know, videos that have queued. You can basically just close it up. So you can see the Windows file is a .wtv. And now if I go into my recorded folders, you'll see that that Seinfeld episode, it's there twice as a W dot, I mean a dot WTV file, and it's converting to an MPEG-4 video file, their video there. You can see it's much smaller also. So it is a nice way if you want to just convert them, because if you don't want WTV files... And that's it. I hope that helps. I thought it worked great. It's a nice little app.